Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So today I have a pretty exciting video. I'm going to share with you my white gold guilloche bracelet and then I'm going to compare it to the yellow gold one and I'm also going to show you a very interesting hack to turn the bracelet into the necklace. Now I know other people have shown this before but I wanted to show you something a little different because I don't see too many people talking about this. So let's get Get started. So here is my white gold guilloche bracelet. It is in the vintage Alhambra and it is in white gold. So some of you may have seen me reveal my yellow gold one in a different video. So if you have any questions about what to look out for, sizing and any FAQs, I do have a separate video and I will put links to that video somewhere here in the video or down in the description box below. But originally I had purchased the yellow gold one and recently I picked up, yes, the white gold one and you may be wondering why do you need a white gold when you have a yellow gold one and generally I don't like to duplicate my jewelry however I really love the white gold one because I feel it has a bit more of a casual and clean vibe to it and I wanted something to go with my white gold stack as recently somehow I have been preferring the white gold look so here is the white gold guilloche stacked against my tennis bracelet and the Etten cell bangle here as you can see. And as for reference, here it is next to the yellow gold guilloche, also very pretty. However, I do prefer to stack this with my other yellow gold bracelets. So just that you can get a general idea, here it is against my Hermes Kelly bracelet in the yellow gold. And here it is against my white gold stack. Now, if you wanted to ask me whether you should go for yellow gold or white gold, I think that really is personal preference, what looks good against your skin tone. And in my case, I went for the yellow gold version first because this was the first version and it does go with my aesthetic. However, I really also like the white gold aesthetic because it is very shiny and I feel it's more of a casual understated look. Now let's get into how to turn this bracelet into a necklace. Now in most cases, if you want to purchase the necklace, there is a 10 clover version and there is also a one clover version. Now, if you want to buy the 10 clover version, it's pretty much double the price of the bracelet because this one has a five clovers and the necklace has 10 to go around the neck. So basically you're paying twice for this bracelet. The other option, which is what usually the essay will recommend, is for you to buy the single pendant. And the single pendant is actually quite expensive. So just to give you a general idea, the one with the single pendant and chain is three quarters of the price of the five clover guilloche bracelet so it doesn't really add up because i understand the chain has more gold however you're only getting one clover compared to five clovers so generally what the essay will recommend is that you can buy the single clover and tie it together with the bracelet to make a perfect necklace. In addition, if you want to be able to wear it as a necklace, generally as a choker, they recommend that you don't shorten the bracelet because once you shorten it, it's not really long enough to go with the necklace to become a choker. And what I see many girls doing is that they will recommend that you leave this really big and that you just basically clip it so that there's a dangling part or you can kind of twist the clovers to tighten it up. So initially I did try to do that. I tried to tighten up the clovers but to be honest once your hand is down and flinging it does undo itself, unravel itself and I end up with a super loose bracelet and I don't necessarily really like that look. Some people may like that look but to me I like my bracelets to be not snug but slightly loose but I definitely don't don't like them dangling all the way down here because I like to do my errands and my chores and I work in an office and I really don't want my bracelet to be constantly banging against the table. In essence, I told the essay just shorten it and 
you know, if I need a necklace or something like that, I'll think of something else. Now, what some girls have done is that they have gone online and they have basically just shopped for a longer necklace and they would attach it to this bracelet to make a choker style necklace. However, there is an even better idea. I thought of one more idea that you can also consider and that is to buy the Van Cleef trace chain and this one is just the chain by itself and it is a fraction of the price of the single motif necklace. Now don't get me wrong, if you love the single motif and you want to purchase this, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, if you do want to save on cost, what you could do is buy the trace chain that comes from VCA. Now the benefit of buying this chain from VCA is that the clasp, it will be matching the one on your bracelet and also if you are worried about the chain not exactly matching the color of your bracelet you can also purchase that from VCA and that will pretty much guarantee that the color of your chain will match the bracelet. Now you may wonder what about the size? So basically the size of this chain is exactly the same length as the single motif necklace. But then you may wonder didn't you shorten your bracelet so that it wouldn't really fit? Actually VCA will lengthen the chain. So at the time that I purchased this bracelet, I did shorten it by three centimeters. And what I asked them to do is to basically lengthen this chain by three centimeters. So essentially, I am getting the same length as I would have if I had not adjusted the chain on this and attached it to the single motif necklace, which would essentially be the same size, which essentially would be the same length. And by doing this, I don't have to shell out double the amount of money for the 10 motif necklace. While I can get the look of the 10 motif, of course, it's going to be only five motif. And I also don't have to buy the single pendant if I really didn't want to have the single pendant. And then just on the side, I would like to mention that if you did attach the single pendant to the bracelet, you do have the extra kind of single pendant dangling kind of out. And depending on whether you like that look or not, it may be a pro or con. So let me show you how to extend the bracelet to become the necklace. So basically the trace chain is 42 centimeters and I've extended by three centimeters. Basically what you do is you hook the chain together, then you hook one side of the chain to this side, and then you take the other lobster claw and you basically attach it to this side of the bracelet. And I don't know if you can see, however, this chain is actually quite sparkly. I don't know if it really shows up properly on camera. However, this chain is quite shiny. As you can see now, it's become a necklace. It only has five motifs. So I'm just going to put this over my neck so you can see what it looks like on me. So here you can see it is right up against my collarbone. So it is a perfect length for me. However, if you're not sure if this is the right length for you, you could always ask them for an original necklace with an unaltered bracelet to get an idea if this length is suited for you. However, it's a perfect choker length for me. And if I lengthen the chain so that I don't do it up double, I'll show you what that looks like. So here, instead of doubling up the chain, it's just attached as a single strand. And the interesting thing is that I can actually fit this over my head without undoing the clasp like this. So by using the chain, you don't get that extra motif dangling out. Again, it really depends if you like that look or not. So now with this chain, you have two looks. You can either go for a longer look like this, or you could go for the shorter look which looks more like this. And if you're concerned that there are no motifs showing at the back, you can put your hair down or you could wear a blazer over this. And you really can't tell that it's just the five motif if that's the look you're going for. Personally, I don't really care. I don't mind that it's showing as a five motif necklace and I really like the way that this looks. And evidently, if you're really creative, you can even turn this into a headband.
like this. So this is not something I'm very creative with. However, I guess you'd have to be careful. You could probably put bobby pins all around here and you can end up with a very pretty jewelry looking headband. And then if you really feel this is not long enough, again, you can also purchase their longer chains or order an extra chain to kind of make it longer or shorter the way you like. Personally, I think that the only ways I'm going to wear this are either like this as a longer necklace or in the choker style which is probably the way I like it the most. I think there are truly a lot of savings if you just purchase the chain and of course you can use the chain for other purposes. You can wear it by itself because it's really just quite sparkly and pretty or you could use it to wear your other pendants. And just for fun I have also put on the gold chain for this with the five motif necklace so you can see what that looks like and what I'll do is I'm just gonna put my hair down just to show you how it kind of covers it up. So please excuse the messy hair but as you can see because I have basically covered up the sides you can't really tell that it's not a 10 motifs although I'm not really here to pretend that it's a 10 motifs because I really don't mind that this is a 5 motif because that means I can use it both as a necklace and also as a bracelet and plus I've just saved myself from purchasing another necklace which is double the price of the bracelet and I also so don't have to buy the single motif in other to make the look of this choker because the chain is the same length. So if it is too long or short, you can always ask your essay to extend or adjust the length of the bracelet. So I don't see too many people talking about this and I think this is a really good hack. So if you're in the market between the guilloche bracelet or necklace and you want both and you want a bit of savings, this is a really great way to be able to own both looks without spending too much money. Of course, if you just don't mind, if you really just love the single pendant and you would definitely wear and use the single pendant a lot, definitely you can get that and you can match it with the bracelet to also make the same look. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope it was useful for you. I was really excited to share this video with you because I I don't see many people talking about this and even the essay herself was a bit surprised. She was like, how did you figure this out? And I was just thinking, well, I do buy quite a bit of jewelry over the years as I've been collecting for over a decade or more. So actually I do this all the time and so I think this is a great way to be able to have two for almost the price of one. Not quite. The price of one. So if you found this video helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And of course, if I did save you some money, feel free to buy me a coffee and I'll put links down in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're into luxury bags or lifestyle, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, have a fabulous day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now!